Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And today we have some exciting new updates to talk about pertaining to the forthcoming Uncover iOS 13 through 13.3 jailbreak for up to A13 devices. So yes, the iPhone 11 series and also A12 powered devices, meaning the iPhone 10s and 10R series as well. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this. First things first, if you guys have yet to bookmark my jailbreak status checker page for A12 and A13, definitely do so. It'll be the first link down below in the description. That page will simply feature a red no like it does now or a green yes. The second the jailbreak is out, that red no will change to a green yes. Now, we're going to talk about what's new because believe it or not, there's actually a pretty exciting development. Previously, as I covered in my last video, Pwn himself even confirmed that the jailbreak would be version specific to iOS 13.3, at least at launch. It looks like that's all changed. In a tweet from just the other day, he said, quote, it looks like the upcoming version of the uncovered jailbreak may support all iOS versions starting from 13.0 up to 13.3 on A12 through A13 devices. How fantastic is that, guys? Absolutely awesome stuff. And if you already did either update to 13.3 or downgrade from 13.3.1, then congratulations, you are on the latest firmware that will be jailbreakable. So don't be upset if you guys thought that it would be just specific to 13.3. Really, everyone did, even Pwn himself. And if you did spend the time to update, then you are on the most stable version that will be jailbreakable at launch. However, if you are on iOS 13.3.1 still and you have yet to downgrade, you must downgrade immediately, if not sooner, simply because 13.3.1 will not work with this version of Uncover. It does close the primary kernel exploit utilized. So if you need to downgrade down below in the description, I will include a link to my downgrade tutorial also linked in your cards right now. It was literally the last video I put out prior to this one. Also, Pwn, as well as some of those he's working with, have tweeted out numerous times that they have the offsets for basically all A12 and A13 devices now as well. Those are the devices that they're focused on first. Those will be jailbroken immediately once this update is released to uncover. And then for all older devices, meaning A11 and prior to that, older than the iPhone 10, hopefully they will be supported soon, which are also jailbreakable via check rain. So if you're on a device that is susceptible to the Checkmate exploit and you're already jailbroken with Checkrain, definitely keep your device on 13.3 or lower simply because then you will have a semi-untethered jailbreak instead of having the semi-tethered jailbreak which requires you to plug your device into your computer via a USB cable. So let's go over everything that's new has happened since my last video and is relevant and pertinent to this upcoming release. He said, quote, Cydia is looking good on iPhone 11 Pro Max. So he did have Cydia working fine. And then he said, I'm working on fixing yet another issue in substitution support, which seems to be affecting system-wide injection on iOS 13. Just found the root cause of the bug that breaks system-wide injection on iOS 13. I am now working on safely fixing this bug. I just got the cylinder tweak working on A13, just properly fixed the issue that was breaking system-wide injection on A13, successfully installed Snowboard and enabled the Felicity theme on A13. Tweak injection seems to be working flawlessly. I am now working on cleaning up my changes and issuing a beta build to the internal beta testers. We're almost there. And then finally, for what it's worth, I fixed several stability issues in the PAC list implementation while updating it for A13. The issues which I fixed include freezes, issues with some system services, and random resprings. So guys, it looks like we are so very close to the release of the first jailbreak that will be able to work on not only A13 devices, but also the first jailbreak for A12 on iOS 13. Some very awesome and exciting stuff. Like I said, toward the beginning of this video, I will let you guys know the very second the jailbreak is out. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to and ding that notification bell also if you have yet to. And uh, yeah, we are almost there, guys. I really can't say exactly how long it's going to take. In fact, Pwn himself can't even say, but it looks like he's very close to issuing the first 
first beta build to testers. And if last year's release for A12 is anything to go by, it could take a little bit longer than initially anticipated. Things do, of course, pop up. Issues do present themselves and, you know, setbacks can occur. That's just the nature of these kind of things. So just be sure to be patient. Something's coming. Do not update to iOS 13.3.1 because it will, in fact, close your ability to jailbreak utilizing this upcoming version of Uncover. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are as well. And uh, one last thing I wanted to mention, if you guys do want to avoid installing 13.3.1, just go inside of settings, general software update and make sure automatic updates is toggled off. Be sure that this is off. Otherwise it will install automatically overnight when your device is plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi. So, yep, that's everything for this video. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out.